So I got some books back from CGC, and they're right here. And it's always like Christmas in August, <laughs> basically August, whenever uh, you get something like this back. So yeah, um, I can't remember what's in here. So let's take a look together, unbox it. Um, I'll go ahead and hide the grades, and I'll do that off camera here once I get it open. And let's take a look together, see how we did. Okay, we're ready to go. Now this first book is a modern book that's a facsimile of Detective Comics 27. And uh, yeah, I just, I don't usually submit new books, but I just thought this one would look cool on the wall. So I submitted it for my own PC, at least to keep it a little while. It's going to look pretty good up there. And uh, not much to say about it otherwise. Everybody knows what this book is. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and see. I mean, this was an obvious 9.8, 9.9. Um, there was absolutely no defects on it, so I expect a 9.8. Okay, 9.8. That's a good start, but that's nothing we did not expect. I fully expected to get um, 9.8 or even 9.9 on this book. That's how perfect this thing is. All right, the next one is an interesting one, and it's one that's only been on my radar for a little bit. So um, I think somebody commented on one of my videos and made me aware of this one. I think this is the first mention of Todd McFarlane in a comic book. And he wrote in a fan letter uh, to the uh, editor, and it was published in this book. So this is Superman 366. Now this was, I did a Instagram and maybe even a YouTube short on this book. It was an example of extreme CPR. This had a giant, huge bend right here. And uh, if you want to watch that video, I'll put a, a link in the description or above right here if, if there's a YouTube version of it. I know I did it on Instagram, though. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, Improve Collecting, I'm, I'm on Instagram as well. Um, so this one right here I got at a bargain price, $9, because it had this big bend in it. And I thought it would be a challenge. But once I got it done, I was like, man, this thing looks like a 9.8. So it's not worth a whole lot of money yet. It might be down the road at some point. I think it's a key because of the Todd McFarlane mention. That's just me personally. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. This is a key, right? It's not listed here. It has CBS Toon Time insert included is, is, the, is the notation here from CGC. So, yeah, I, I don't know about that. So, I'm, I'm curious. Did I get this to a 9.8? Um, there was still like a slight little shadow right here where you could see where the bin was. If you get at the right angle, you can see it. But if you're looking at it face on, or for most angles, you're not going to see that shadow of that bend. The book otherwise is a 9.8 easy. So I'm just curious if I get the 9.8. I don't see any kind of reversion, so that's good. It looks exactly the same as it did the day I sent it in to CGC, so that's good. So let's see if we got our 9.6 or 9.8. Okay, 9.8. Now that is pretty cool because that was not easy. Anybody out there that CPR's books, cleans and presses, if you watch that Instagram you'll, and you look at the pictures of that thing, that is not easy to do. That It took multiple presses, tack iron, all that good stuff, uh, steam, you name it, I threw the book at this thing in order to get that out. And it came out much better. There was no color break associated with that bin, which was pretty amazing, considering the significance. And it extended all the way through the book. So very, very happy with that grade. And uh, we'll be happy to get our 9.8 on Superman 366. And that's a PC book. Going to hang on to that one. I think that might be worth something someday. And uh, it's just cool otherwise, right? Anything associated with McFarlane I like. Um, the next one is Daredevil 232. First appearance of Nuke. And um, I love these yellow covers. And uh, it's not a big key or anything like that, but it is a key. And uh, so I got this one for a really good price, $23. And um, I thought I was able to get it up to only a 9.4, unfortunately. Um, although it's a, it's a well-presenting book, there's a couple defects I wasn't able to get off on the book. And I don't remember what those are now that I'm looking at it. And uh, so, yeah, I'll be happy with a 9.4, maybe even a 9.6. So, yeah, let's see what CGC thinks. Wow! <laughs> Okay, I did not expect that one. Uh, 9.4 is what I thought this was. So that's a pretty good uh, bump there. 
This is about a $150, $200 book, I think, at a 9.8. But I just love these yellow covers, you know. I just, I don't know why. <laughs> I have a soft spot for them. But this is a cool book. Uh, this came out at the time I was collecting comics, and I do have a PC uh, raw copy that I bought as a kid. But I bought this one for the purposes of trying to get a 9.8. Didn't think I got there, but we'll take it. <laughs> Happy about that one. Um, so what are we, three for three? Yeah, I mean, the last two were pretty, that was pretty challenging. This one, I just fell in love with this cover when I first saw it. Uh, my wife is a big fan of horror, and I have become a fan of horror. So anything along these lines, I just really like. And um, this black cover is exceptionally difficult to get a 9.8, and I think this thing has quite a bit of value in a 9.8. I think I looked it up, it was over 400 bucks for the last sale or something like that. And I imagine just because it is exceedingly difficult. But I saw this one online, um, and this is Batman 399 if I didn't mention it. I saw this one online for 30 bucks, and it looked perfect. So I was like, let's just roll the dice YOLO, right? Uh, if I can turn this into a $400 book, let's go for it. So when I was done, I thought it was a 9.6. And I'm pretty conservative, so I think this has the chance at the 9.8. Um, and there's a significant price difference between 9.6 and 9.8 on this book, I believe. Um, not sure whether I'll keep this one or not. It just depends. I'll probably list it for a high price if it does get to 9.8. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see if we got a 9.6 or a 9.8. Yes! That's a big one. Yeah, I love the fact that I got the 9.8 in this one. Wow. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, so, yeah, four for four. I think I've got four more here. So, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, so let's keep moving along. Now, this one has been a on my wish list for a long time. I've got 9.8 copies of this in a direct, but I do not have a newsstand 9.8 of this book. And uh, that's kind of always the goal is when I get the 9.8 of a book, I want to then try to get the newsstand, the more rare copy of it. This one I bought as a slab. This one was a 9.6, I believe, 9.6, and I got it for the bargain price of 60 bucks. And um, I thought, and this is over a $400 book, I believe, last time I checked, in a 9.8. But once again, it's a newsstand 9.8, very difficult. And I'm trying to get the entire McFarland run, as some of you know, in 9.8. I've already got this in 9.8, I just don't have newsstand 9.8. So let's see if CGC, well, actually, hold on. Uh, I thought this was a borderline um, 9.6 to 9.8 when I was done. It is a very nice copy. It's um, on my grading tool system. It had very, very few points, I guess, or defects that I was able to find on it. Yeah, it, it's the most perfect newsstand copy of this book I've ever seen, and that's <laughs> why I submitted it. So if this one doesn't get the 9.8, I'll probably just give up <laughs> because I, I it took me forever to find this book. So I'm not going to ramble. Let's see if CGC thinks we can get the 9.8. It's a big one. Okay. Whoo! Nice. Okay. Got my new stand 9.8. That is beautiful. Man. That is a PC book, not going anywhere. It's going to go in a proud place in my McFarlane run. Probably displayed up here. Maybe next time you watch a video, it'll probably be up here. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. And I'm, I may sell this Amazing Spider-Man 361 just because it's not doesn't have any kind of personal connection. I wasn't collecting. I quit collecting by the time that got out. I was happy to own this book for a long time, but I've, I've got it listed for sale. It's on my short box account if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I'm, good. I'm probably going to replace that one with this one because I did get this one delivered to my house as a kid in a subscription. So yeah. That's, that's why I'm trying to, I've got too many books. <laughs> I've got to kind of narrow my collection down a little bit. So I'm trying to stick to books that I actually collected as a kid, as part of my PC. I got to clear some of the space out. Um, I ran out of space on the wall for my books. And I'm running out of space here because I'm cleaning and pressing. I have all these books to sell now and it's, I have a very limited space. So unfortunately I've got to sell a few. So Amazing Spider-Man 293, who doesn't love this art, right? Um, it's just beautiful. So yeah, this one um, I got because I thought it had 9.8 potential. And it was actually a slab. This is another one of those 9.6 slabs that I decided to buy and crack because it looked 
like A9.8, and it had some uh, Raiders notes on it that indicated that they would be pressable defects. And it turned out to have some bends in it, so I was able to get all of that out. So I thought I had a really solid shot at getting the 9.8 on this book. Now, it's not a hugely valuable book in a 9.8 even, but it is a very popular run in Amazing Spider-Man, and all the Spider-Mans. It, it was a crossover with all the Spider-Man series at the time. Web, you know, ASMs, all of those spectacular. Um, all had issues that were part of this run. This is part two, Crawling. And, um, yeah, so I'm hoping to get the 9.8. This is one of the most perfect copies of any book that I've ever seen. This one looked like an obvious 9.8 to me. So let's see if CGC agrees. Okay, we're, we're still on a roll today. Um, that's good. So what is that? Is that six for six? Six for six? Now I'm getting kind of nervous. We, could we get that perfect day again? I, I don't think it's going to happen because I got a couple books here. Actually, this one for sure is a, might be a little bit of a strat. Actually, let me look at my notes on this one. Now, once again, trying to get the entire McFarlane run. I think I only have a 9.4 of this book. I don't even have a 9.6. But I did buy this one as a 9.6 and then kind of gambled on it. Because I thought 9.8 looked possible when it was in the slab. And once I got it out, I remember this book now. It had the most perfect back black spine that you'll ever see on this book. I think I might have featured it once again in an Instagram post or a video. But there is nothing on this. I, I, I think there might be one slight tiny color break if you take out a magnifying glass. But yeah, if I'm going to get a 9.8 in this book, it's going to be this one right here. Just look at those colors. I mean, this is just tremendous. This is one of the best looking copies. Look at the centering on this book. The staples are right in the middle. Um, you see the black on the left side there, perfectly centered. You got the entire art here. There's nothing cut off here. Sometimes you'll see, if I remember correctly, Chance Encounter can sometimes be cut off even. Sometimes you'll see this book where it's skewed, like, you know, kind of <laughs> diagonal like that. But this is a perfectly cut, centered copy of Amazing Spider-Man with no fading. Looks like it was stored perfectly from the day it was purchased. No spine ticks that I can remember on the back. Yeah, I mean... This is what you look for. This is what even the most discerning collector is going to look for in this book. And if this is a 9.8, it's probably going to be in my will. It's going right there with my McFarlane collection. So, yeah. I mean, it's a gamble. I mean, but if we get a 9.6 again, whatever. But I can't see anybody in their right mind giving this a 9.6. So, let's see. Okay, he agrees with me. Now, the reason I'm not super... I am excited about this. But I was the most excited about this when I first got the copy in and I saw how nice it was because I just, I knew this was a 9.8. And I would have submitted it probably two or three times to get the 9.8 in case I got that harsh grader. But I've got 9.8s on my wall that don't even compare to how nice this one is. This is like one of those 9.85s, 9.88s <laughs> that I talk about. Like, if you were going to think about getting a 9.9, .9, this is not too far. It does have defects, though. It's definitely not a 9.9. .9, but it is way on the high end of the 9.8. So, yeah. Tickled to death to have that going in the PC. Very, very happy. And that's just one step closer to getting that full run. It's going to take me a while. I've still got 300 to get. I've got 316. Um... Don't have 301, don't have 299, but I got most of the other ones. Are, or if I don't have them, they're low enough that I could just buy the 9.8. But I'm going to try and get them myself, clean and press, because to have an entire run that I clean and press myself and got the 9.8, now that would be cool. So the last one, and certainly not least, is another 9.6 that I bought as a slab. But once again, this thing looked perfect, and it had some notes on it that indicated that it had potential to get that 9.8. I got it for a pretty good price at the time. I paid just under 300 for it, which was a good price for a 9.6, but I think it's a $700 book and a 9.8. Now, this came out right before I started collecting, so I did not, I think I may have had a copy of this at some point as a kid. Like, I might have had all four of these books. It was part of a mini limit, limited series. I think it was four books, and uh, but I don't know if I still have them or if they just, I sold them along the way. Because I sold a bunch of books back in 2008. Um, so that's possible. So I do have number two here in a 9.6 on the wall, but I don't have any 9.8s of this series. 
But yeah, this is a cool one. And uh, this is definitely a 9.8. I mean, I don't know why I'm, I don't even know why I have this label on there because this was probably the nicest book of all of them in this stack right here. So this is definitely a 9.8. So let's just go ahead and show it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's one of these one or two defect books that you never hardly ever see. And this one has very good centering as well, as you can see. And uh, centering was not something that was ever on my radar as a kid or even when I got back into the hobby, but it's becoming more and more something people talk about. Like, you, just, you have a 9.8, but then you have 9.8s that have that great centering and just look beautiful. Um, because of that, they just present perfectly. But this one, I'm not decided whether it'll be a PC book or not. I do have another submission that has a Wolverine one in it. If that one comes back 9.8, I might keep one of the two. But this is the nicest of the two copies for sure. So probably my big win of the day, I would say, is this one. Um, just for personal collection reasons. This one came in the mail to me, subscription. And um, my childhood copy, I think, was a 9.4. It's right there. And um, yeah, so definitely, definitely glad to have part of that um, run completed. Oh yeah, my 328 as well. The newsstand 328, so. These are the big wins for me in this. Of course, man, they're, they're all wins. I got eight 9.8s. Cannot argue with that. So thanks for watching. Stay nerdy. And I will see you in the next video.